In this video, I will discuss the solutions to the examples provided at the end of my video on inversions of dominant seventh chords. In example number one in the key of F major, you were given a first inversion dominant seventh chord. In following the voice leading steps provided in the earlier video on first inversion dominant seventh chords, you would resolve the chordal seventh first, which would be the B flat in the tenor voice, which is moving down by step to A. Next, you would resolve the leading tone, which in this example would be the E in the bass voice, and it is moving up by step to the F. Next, keep the common tone, which in this example is the C in the soprano voice. Keep that common tone in the soprano. And finally, move the remaining pitch, which is the chordal fifth of the dominant seventh chord, down by step to the F. In this example, that would be the most likely solution for step four because the dominant seventh chord in first inversion is resolving to a root position tonic triad and the most likely doubling would be the chordal root for the root position tonic triad. However, in example number two, in the key of E minor, um, the result will not be a root position tonic triad. It will be a first inversion tonic triad. The reason for this is because of the dominant seventh chord being in third inversion. In this particular example, in the key of E minor, the root of the dominant seventh chord is that B in the tenor voice, and so the chordal seventh is the A in the bass voice, and we will resolve that pitch first down by step to the G. The leading tone is the D sharp. Remember to raise those leading tones in minor keys, and that D sharp, the leading tone, is resolving up by step to E. Next, keep the common tone. In this example, it's the B in the tenor voice. Keep that same B in the tenor voice for the tonic triad. And then finally, um, resolve the chordal fifth, either up or down by step. Either solution will work in this case. You can see the F sharp is moving down to the E, but I've also provided a filled in note head on the G where the F sharp moves up by step. Um, either doubling will work for the first inversion triad, as I mentioned earlier. Um, first inversion triads typically have more varied doubling possibilities. Uh, example three in the key of D major, this is a second inversion dominant seventh chord. Uh, the root of this chord is the A in the soprano, but first let's identify the chordal seventh. That is the G in the alto voice. And so that pitch must resolve down by step, which it is to the F sharp. Next, resolve the leading tone, which is the C sharp in the tenor voice. It's moving up by step to D. Then keep the common tone, the A in the soprano. And then finally, the last step, um, the E in the bass voice, which is the chordal fifth of the dominant seventh chord that can move down by step to D, which would give you a doubled chordal root for a root position tonic triad, or that same E could move up by step to the F sharp, resulting in a first inversion tonic triad. Either solution would work. Number four. In the key of C minor, you are given a first inversion dominant seventh chord. The chordal seventh of this dominant seventh chord is the F in the alto voice, and it is moving down by step to the E flat. Next, resolve the leading tone, which is the B natural in the bass voice. And in this example, it's moving up by step to the C. Next, keep the common tone, which is the G in the tenor voice. Keep that common tone in the same voice. And finally, resolve the chordal fifth in this example down by step so that we can have that likely chordal root doubling for the root position tonic triad. And the last example, number five, in the key of B flat major, you were given a dominant seventh chord in third inversion. The root of that dominant chord is the F. And so the chordal seventh would be the E flat in the bass and it is resolving down by step, inevitably resulting in a first inversion tonic triad, especially if you've resolved that chordal seventh properly. Next, resolve the leading tone, which is the A in the tenor voice, and it is moving up by step to the B flat. Next, keep the common tone in the same voice, which is the F in the alto. And finally, remove the remaining pitch, which is the chordal fifth of the dominant seventh chord, either up or down by step again, there are two solutions here. The C is moving down to the B flat, or it could move up to the D to double the chordal third. Again, the first inversion tonic triad allows for more flexibility regarding doubling. All right, that's
that's all. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much.